Hi, and welcome to this slide looking at the multiple choice question which explores the formula of an organic compound from the moles of oxygen needed for its combustion. This is quite an applied question, so I'll take you through the detail as we go. So it tells you that there's one mole of a compound reacts with eight moles of oxygen for complete combustion. So it means 16 oxygen atoms are needed to completely burn the carbon and hydrogen atoms present in one molecule of the compound. And if we look at the two options B and C, you can see uh, the presence of a single oxygen atom within them, in the OH group there and there, means that the number of moles of O2 molecules needed would automatically be uh, have a half in there, because one oxygen atom is the equivalent of half an oxygen molecule. So neither of those two would be the answer. This brings in an exam technique idea that uh, quite often in multiple choice questions, a bit of thinking can often reveal two wrong answers, meaning that the, the remaining answers are all that you really need to think about. This speeds things up and makes it easier to process. So if we wipe out um, B and C and just think about A and D. So the next thing to consider is how much um, the uh, carbon and hydrogen will make. Carbon will make carbon dioxide. Hydrogen will make um, water when it burns completely. But uh, one hydrogen atom will make half an H2O molecule, because obviously there's two hydrogen atoms in an H2O molecule, and one carbon atom will make one full CO2 molecule. Starting to put together a possible framework for what our equation might look like, and therefore what the form of the compound might be, we put in 8 as our balancing number for oxygen here, and looking at uh, the products, we need to try to distribute 16 oxygen atoms between the carbon dioxide and the water. So your compound must be either C4H18 or C5H12. So let's do a bit of trial and error with these two. You've got uh, four carbons available in A and five carbons available in D, meaning you can either get four CO2s or five CO2s. So if we take A first of all, you've got four CO2s there, so four times two makes eight oxygens, and four oxygens in the water means that you've got 12 oxygen atoms. The problem here is that you have 16 oxygen atoms to try to get, so you don't have enough oxygen atoms being made there or used up in the reactants. So therefore it can't really be A, so let's look at D. So this time round, what's happening is you've got five carbon dioxides, that means 10 oxygen atoms, and six waters, that means six oxygen atoms, 10 plus six makes 16. So this one works, so therefore D is the answer. So let's reflect on the technique we used to get our way through this question. We had to read the question quite carefully. We were able to eliminate some wrong answers to try and focus our minds on the two possible right answers. And the two possible right answers will be quite close together. It might be quite difficult to work out the difference between them. So a bit of trial and error is often um, the only way through to explore the feasibility of the remaining options that you've got. Okay, so hopefully this has been a useful quick check of a slightly more applied type of multiple choice question. Thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.